Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Jonathan Golden and today's topic we're going to be talking about track day costs. As you know, if you browse the channel, I've gone to the track a lot with the Porsche GT3 and learned lots and lots and lots of information going to the track uh, about how much it costs, what you have to bring, and um, everything that you need to know on your track day with your supercar or your regular car. You know, it doesn't matter what you, you, you drive, it's better to drive fast on the track than it is on the street, as you may know, since you get speeding tickets. But anyways, I'm a visual learner, so I, bought the, I brought this uh, whiteboard to the table here, and I'm gonna see if I, I can help you guys on um, give it like an idea of a track day cost. Some of these things might pertain to you, others may not, so you know we can kind of go in adding and eliminating things to get the overall correct pricing. So first things first, uh, you know, where do you sign up? Um, there's a good group called Speed Districts. I just went there my first time. I think that's the best bang for your buck. It's uh, $300, so we'll go ahead and write that down. Track day costs. So registration, right? My handwriting is not that good. That's $300. And that um, $300 is it's a little bit on the high side, but not to worry. They do include a lot of stuff with that. So they include timing. And they also include photos. So this was very cool. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram at GoldenGT3. Uh, you can check out the pictures I posted, but they post some pretty cool in action. Um, shots of you on the track. You're not gonna want to bring mom <laughs> along and try to get the best photos. They're gonna be uh, professional photo takers, and you know, give you those uh, within a few days. I found out. And timing. That's the transponder you're gonna get. Usually, you have to give a credit card or thirty dollars. Uh, they include it in that three hundred dollar pricing. And uh, another side note about speed districts is you go, um, you know, from nine or eight, eight in the morning till five at night and you're running every hour. So every, every hour you go on the track, which is, it, which is really cool because on other groups you only go to like three to four times. So definitely go ahead and check them out. There's a feather, uh, other few groups that I go to, uh, Porsche Owners Club, Extreme Speed, Speed Ventures. I haven't been to Speed Ventures, but I've been to Extreme Speed and Porsche Owners Club. Uh, both of those are great. Um, if you're a beginner, you wanna join the beginner uh, section. I'm more advanced because I've been there and the cars, the lap, it's all about lap times. If so, if you're having a fast lap time, go into the advance. But anyways, so next thing is um, Starbucks. You're gonna have to buy Starbucks, unfortunately. I know, it's kind of weird. If, even if you don't buy Starbucks or drink Starbucks, you're gonna need a Starbucks because the leave time uh, to go to these track days events, they're about 100 miles away, 75 miles away from Los Angeles. So you're gonna need coffee in the morning. That's one of my things I do. So that could be applying to you or applying to me. So that's gonna be that. And then we're also gonna talk about gas. So gas is gonna be $120, uh, give or take, gas. I hope this you can is visible. <laughs> but anyways, we're uh, so that's, 120 bucks is what I spend, 60 bucks to fill up um, going there, and then you're at about a half a tank, and then you fill up, and then you're, you you spend basically a full tank of gas on the track. Uh, the, doesn't matter what car you're driving, I feel like I had the GTR, the Subaru, uh, you burn a quarter tank per session, give or take. So 120 bucks for gas. Uh, registration fees as well for the track, they're not gonna let you in without paying $10 track fees. That's just standard for Willow, uh, button button Willow, so track fee, and that's cash. So it's it's adding up, guys. You know, <laughs> we're, we're not even done with the day yet. So those are like pretty much the basic costs is like you, you do uh, every day. And if you're new to the track, if it's your first time, you know, you're gonna have to get a helmet. The helmet is uh, 125 I paid for. Yeah, I have an HJC, pretty standard uh, helmet. It's a Snell approved helmet, so you're not gonna be able to wear a motorcycle helmet that's a DOT approved. So you're gonna need a, a Snell M2015, I believe it's called. That's like the regulated um, name for it, the Snell M2015, so look out for that. So now you have the helmet. We'll put helmet here next to it so you guys don't get confused. I don't even know if that's 
We'll, we'll do a close up at the end if, <laughs> if this doesn't make sense. Uh, so there we go. And then we need a tow hook. I don't know if that's going to cost you anything, but that's zero for me, tow hook. Uh, generally, you know, if you get a car, get a sports car, they do come with a tow hook. So check the trunk or the front or the glove box. You might want to do that. Some people, they don't, some groups, they don't care. But if you do crash on the track, they're going to have to break something or, you know, figure out a way to tow you and that could damage your car. So you definitely want to invest in one of those. Uh, moving all over, over here. Uh, Fifteen dollars for a pressure gauge or a comp um, compressor. So the Porsche one did come with a compressor, and it's got the electronic uh, tire pressure gauges, but they're not too accurate. So that's why I have my own uh, pressure gauge, and then also it comes with the you know, a compressor to fill it up because after the track day, you're going to let, you know, let air out. Um, before you get there, tire pressure increases as you're, you know, ripping around the track. And then you're going to want to add pressure later because you don't want to be uh, messing up your, your tire wear. It's going to be coming on even and the pressure needs to be at optimal uh, pressure. So check the driver's side. Uh, door jam, there should be um, the correct pressure for your tires and factory spec. So just a quick overview, you know, we got all these fees here. Um, you know, this is a good pretty much estimate of what it's going to cost. Uh, there is other factors that you want to do. You want to have a, um, a torque wrench, right? So that's going to be probably about $100. Mine is a, you know, estimate. Mine is 445. So that's just on. That's just for Porsche. <laughs> so that's for me about 100 bucks. You want to torque your your lug nuts and everything till about 110 pounds feet of torque. Um, but there's also the Porsche one is like 440 or something like that. So it's a center lock. It's a little bit different. So that's what um, it's gonna cost for me. If you have that tool, great. You're gonna save some money. Halfway through the day, you're gonna to want to eat lunch. So lunch is about lunch is actually free. It's uh, they provide it, so that's pretty cool. So free lunch, zero dollars, but you're gonna need another Starbucks <laughs> or Red Bull because you're gonna get tired and you want to be focused at the track. You want to have your caffeine. You want to be energetic and have everything uh, you know awake. So because you're gonna be waking up at five o'clock in the morning, so it's pretty. It's pretty early, it's a long day at the track. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I totaled the the track day costs up to $680 for your first track day experience with your car. With your car, supercar, whatever you got, uh, race car, that's what it's generally gonna cost you. I wanted to do a, like a little ending with my track day cost, which is a little bit different than you guys, and uh, just for fun. So you can see what I kind of spend on a daily basis for the track or monthly. I go to the track about once a month. That makes more sense. So there you have it. I mean, pretty affordable for you. And then th these fees will kind of go down. I mean, there is maintenance costs and everything like that, but I'm just pretty much uh, the entry level fees for the cost that you're gonna need for all the supplies to, to have a fun day. So let's get into my track day cost recently. That was um, just one day. It was at uh, Button Willow, and I went with Speed District. So let's go ahead and see what I, what kind of damage I did, and I'll add up all everything off camera. But I'll just tell you what, what, what a little bit of what I spent. So I did the timing, I did the Starbucks, I did 120 bucks worth of gas, I did the track fees, which is ten dollars. I have the helmet, so as you get the helmet, you're not going to have to pay. You might have to rent if you want, if you don't want to buy one. Um, and then I did the Starbucks again. Uh, throughout the day and but I also burned through $900 with the tires because I bought used uh, Pirelli Travail R's and unfortunately those ended up um, Bald by the end of the day because I was going so much so frequently this uh, this track with speed districts is because they go every hour rather than um, You know three to four times per day. So that's how I kind of blew through those tires fairly quickly So let's see what that cost 
All right, guys, there you have it. We're at $1,340 for the Porsche GT3 track day. Wow. So if I didn't burn through those tires so quickly, it would have been probably half of that, probably like 600 bucks or so. But wow, what, a, what an experience, what a cost but I love it. <laughs> so I never added it all up, but it is starting to sink in a little bit. And i um, looking forward to the next track day, um, October 11th with Speed, Dif Speed Districts. It's gonna be at Button Willow, and I hope to see you there. It's gonna be $300 to get in, and I'll link everything below. Um, so if you wanna register, join me and have some fun out there. And if you want to uh, comment down below any video ideas that you want me to do next or your thoughts on this video, uh, I thought it was pretty cool just explaining the costs and you know bringing some value to you guys out there that are kind of on the fence if you should do it or not. And I highly recommend it because the streets are dangerous. You should go on the track to race for sure. And uh, thank you so much again for watching. Jonathan Golden with the GT3. And be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next video. All right, guys, if you couldn't see the screen, there you have it. Um, 680 for the track day cost, 1340 for my day. So here's what you probably, uh, probably need.